Hello, and my heartfelt greetings to all of you, the Catholic faithful of the Diocese of Buffalo. As perhaps you've heard by now, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed me as your new bishop. I am profoundly humbled and grateful for this gift to serve you. First and foremost, as your brother in faith, your co-worker in bringing about the kingdom of God in our midst, and now as your pastor and shepherd in the journey toward renewal of purpose and mission. Please plan to call me Bishop Mike. I can't tell you how excited I am in accepting this new assignment that the Holy Father has offered me, and with the opportunity to become part of my new family. I'm sorry I'm unable to be with you in person. As you well know, the ongoing COVID threat has disrupted our best plans and routine way of doing things. We've all had to adjust and adapt in order to keep others safe to mitigate the serious health risk that the virus poses. I have heard how wonderfully you've responded, despite the disruption that the virus has called to perish life, to the education of our young people, to the way we work, and most especially in the way we desire to interact with one another. I know also how devastating it has been to so many individuals and families, those who have lost a loved one or dear friend, the financial hardship the virus has caused, and sense of uncertainty about being able to provide for basic needs and obligations. Indeed, we hold in our hearts all who have been affected and will always owe immense gratitude and admiration to those on the front lines, our healthcare workers who provide care for those infected while also striving to ease the pain of loss for others as best they can. I have heard repeatedly about the tremendous warmth and innate friendliness of the people of Buffalo, your commitment to faith, education, diversity of cultures, and of course, the bills and those world famous wings. I look forward to becoming a Buffalonian and learning more of the long history and culture of the local church and being a part of this vibrant community. Most especially, I am eager to get to know you, to benefit from your insights and ideas and your good advice. I'm a strong believer in collaboration and mutual dependency in facing not only challenges, which are many and significant for the diocese at this time, but also in the fulfilling work of forging a new, more promising path for our Catholic faith throughout Western New York, supporting the vitality of parish life and expanding our reach and impact to accomplish so much good in the lives of others. We would do well to recall the promise in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. No eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. This is a promise that we can be assured of and claim, as together we begin a new chapter in the life of this local church. Although I will not be installed until the new year, January 15th, in fact, I hope to get to Buffalo as soon as circumstances allow. In the meantime, I'll be reaching out with the benefit of technology and making the important connections with so many that will be essential to what I hope to accomplish in the days ahead. Our priests and parish leaders, lay and clergy, the dedicated staff, those who oversee our varied ministries, volunteers, and all who make up the family of faith across Western New York. I have expressed my deep and abiding gratitude to Bishop Edward Scharfenberger for the generosity of his spirit and willingness to serve and lead the diocese these many months, while also fulfilling his responsibilities in the Diocese of Albany. 
I will, of course, be collaborating with him in my preparations to assume my new responsibilities in the weeks ahead. Let me just say that I will be offering your needs and intentions in my celebrations of the Eucharist and in my own quiet moments with the Lord. I ask that you please pray for me, recognizing that what I've been asked to do is nothing I can do alone. It's not by coincidence that the Lord referenced that where two or more are gathered, there I am in their midst. We need each other. We will need to support one another, depend on one another, and on the individual gifts that each of us possesses. We will need to listen with open minds and hearts, with respect, and always with the presumption of goodwill. As we approach the season of Advent, a season of hope and great expectation, let us look forward to traveling this new journey together and to realizing the abundant possibilities within our grasp. I am anxious to join the road to renewal that you have begun and to seizing every opportunity to learn from you, have my own faith invigorated by your example. Like those who first discovered God's only Son in the humble guise of a newborn infant, let us be willing in the days ahead to also be amazed at what the Lord can accomplish in our midst and in our lives. God bless you and your loved ones with his abundant grace, his abiding presence, and his assurance of unconditional love. I look forward to being with you soon.